things take care and good luck. Understood. no intention to kill you. I came to this library seeking knowledge, a way to end the threat posed by the shards of the world stone. <laughs> How whimsical. Well, if such knowledge exists, the master would have indeed stored it away here in his private archives. Unfortunately for you, I cannot reach said location. The library has been ravaged by time, and has fallen into disrepair. But, it could be restored. If you truly are no thief, then perhaps you will prove your innocence. What do you have in mind? First, I must regain my strength. And a myriad of monsters stand between us and the statue where that can happen. Considering my weakened state is your fault, I let you clear the way. Resurgence is just a bit. F Here we are. 
That orb the statue is holding should be teeming with transmutational energy. Unfortunately, it is not. Hmm. All three runes have been removed from the pedestal. Obtaining the runes may require some wit to accomplish. Good luck. holds one of the runes. There's an inscription. I awaken when nine flames burn bright. Making one as day makes others as night. Touching the tablet rekindles your plight. It's some form of test. Ugh, I despise tests. Best get to it. This is making my head ache. Perhaps there's a clue somewhere. Or maybe the curator knows a way past this.
goes fast. The second rune is powering the magic circle just over there. Defeat its guardian, and it's yours. places. Oh, cold. Ruinous. Am I inside the mirror, or beyond it? The magic of this place is affecting the rune. It's ethereal. Wait, something happened when I touched it. Light? this mage was, he left blue markings on the ground. There's a message scrawled at the bottom of the page. Moving the mirrors is just the beginning. They're lying in wait, ready to it. Huh. The rest of the text is stained. again. Now, to put this last rune in its place. returns to me. I can feel the magic coursing already. Now, for our arrangements. In order to restore the library, we must bring the central core back to life. We should head there and see the damage done firsthand. Only once the core is active will we be able to find the knowledge you seek. Shall we head forth? The master. 
Foster created me to ensure his library's continuance. It is a dull but vital task. The central core serves as the heart of the library and maintains its defenses. Don't break anything, unless I tell you to. Just as I thought, the core is dormant. Hold while I reawaken it. It didn't work. Uh, I hate it when things don't obey my command. Ah, oh, yes, of course that would happen. Remember what I said. Those who may break. been damaged. No, something is escaping us. The core powers all of the mechanisms within the library. If activated, I could remove the barriers between us and the secret archive. But it refuses to heed my command. Our only course is to obtain the Master's Journal. It details the inner workings of the library. But... That knowledge has been kept secret from me. It is held within the well of knowledge to the west, beyond the magical barriers that restrict my movement and some of the Master's more unfortunate experiments. If we are to proceed, you must obtain it. Hurry back, if you would. I despise not having all the answers. resembles the core, but the rest is a mystery. Perhaps the curator can make this clearer.
You have the journal. Excellent. All the master's knowledge. Oh, the core, much like the master's other creations, appears to be animated by living sand. This is why my magic does nothing. We must give life to the stone itself. You see, the master was of the Aeneid clan, and transmutation was his specialty. Myself, the golems, even those grisly experiments you fought through, we are all forms of artificial life. Sadly, making the spark that brings life to his creations is beyond my abilities. The Master preferred to keep his creations under tight control. But do not worry, that has never stopped me before. To the east is the Chaos Engine. We can use it to extract the life from golems in the area. Which should provide us with means to reanimate the core. I hate to destroy the Master's creations, but some sacrifices must be made. Obtain the remains of a golem, extract the essence of life, reanimate the core. A simple plan. No. The Curator and I are attempting to restore the Library's defenses, but we cannot do that without life essence. Curator's companion. Answer is acceptable. Need further discussion. Follow to camp. Follow companion. Hidden enclave nearby. Life essence you require. Yes. Examine golem remains. I'm sorry for your losses. Unfortunately, the life essence within these deceased golems is of no use. Are there any other options? Larger golems. Uh, options exist. The Eternal Guardian protects private sanctum, now quite demented. Better off dead. 
destroyed. An advanced golem that has already gone mad. That is indeed worth a look. You and your friends have been most helpful. Unnecessary flattery. Glad to assist. You are welcome. Visit Enclave any time. We offer assistance. Farewell, ally. Give Curator regards. Gratitude. Guardian. Bridge must have controls around somewhere. Perhaps the devices on the sides. than the others. Hopefully the Chaos Engine can extract enough essence from it. These runes look familiar. Is this some sort of portal device? Perhaps it can be attuned to reach the Chaos Engine somehow. Alignment accepted. Destination, Chaos Engine. Magical energies are nearly depleted. Teleportation is one way. Transfer to Chaos Engine. Begin. It worked. Now, let's see if this Chaos Engine can create the spark of life. The remains are inside, yet the engine is inactive. Those glowing orbs have to be the key. 
The hungering dead are being drawn to the orb like moths to a flame. I can't let them interfere. Activate the other orb quickly. A trembling in the stone. More of the damned will be here soon. And in great number. Curator will want to see this. Master's archives are open to me now. Excellently accomplished, my compatriot. I think you have waited long enough for the knowledge you seek. I will go on ahead and search for the tome. Meet me in the archive of secrets just up the stairwell. There we will uncover the means of destroying those pesky world stone shards of yours. End. 
This tome is no light reading. The Master transcribed his memories in a way that left them perfectly intact and available for others to experience. It will require a space less filled with cockroaches and maddened golems, however. Come. Further to the north, there is an old chamber that the Master used for the purpose of reliving his memories. Head through here, turn left, and ascend the stairs. Destroying the World Stone is a curious endeavor. It seems better to use such power, don't you think? Still, it is none of my business. Although you're done, perhaps you will share the story with me. Head through here, turn left, and descend the stairs. Head through here, turn left, and descend the stairs. Destroying the World Stone is a curious endeavor. It seems better to use such power, don't you think? Still, it is. This is the place. One moment, please. We will do what must be done. Before he breached the gates of Seshron and put the barbarian city to the sword. Before, a thousand times before, to the time of the Horadrim, who faced the Lord of Destruction and imprisoned him within the Soul Stone. How splendid. Come, let us meet up with Tal Rasha before he too is a corpse. can pursue their master. The balance is... Those who seek destruction shall find it. We must. 
must use the Soul Stone. Keep fighting the Demon Lord. I will deal with Bale's minions. What is the strength of man against hell itself? Damn it! All that remains is a sword. Zoltan, take the others through the valley below. I will teleport to Bale and buy us time. That brazen fool has no idea what he's doing. Come with me, quickly. Bale will overwhelm Talrasha if we tarry. As appealing as that notion is, we cannot fail in this endeavor. So, are you ready? to remove from our path. Very well. Interesting. This wall is much stronger than the others. Guard me while I dispel it. Blesses his own. Your corpses are mine! Well done. Now, let us reach Tal Rasha and end this. <laughs> Just in time, my friends! It 
is done. Yes, but it will not hold. The prime evil spirit is straining at its cage. The shard will not contain him for long. Then we must obtain another soul stone. Are you mad? Only an archangel's weapon can cleave the world stone. And this sliver will not make it to Harriet. Tyriel, he will have answers. I assure you, Bale will not roam free again. But we can have this conversation later. Beyond belief. I partook in the battle against the demon Lord Bale. I saw Zoltan cool. He. He spoke with Tor Rasha, saying only an archangel's weapon could damage the world stone. Well, that makes things complicated. The Master seemed to only know of two such weapons gracing Sanctuary with their presence. One was Eldruin. A weapon belonging to Tyriel. Good luck getting him to let go of it. The other, however, was called Yilnira. It was bequeathed by an angelic artisan to her child, and hidden away by the ancients. Supposedly, it rests within the Temple of Namari, on an island with the name Bilefen. I assume that's where you'll want to go next, yes? Hmm. I believe I have one last gift I can offer you. A way to make your journey much shorter. Stay close to me, would you? Cycle continues onward. Secret room. I hope I was of assistance. Most esteemed patron. 
Thank you for your visit. What do you need, friend? You do the fighting, I'll do the forging. <laughs> 